Do you walk in? Three better. Three bathroom. Bit of a small lake near the house. Really good, double brick. Really big laundry. Pretty small backyard as well. It's a nice big balcony. We're really happy with it. I think it was always something I wanted to do. So I'd been renting. Harvey and I wanted to start a family. And, um, to have that security. Get my f f feet in the market. I kind of just always wanted my independence. Mum turned around to me one day and said, maybe you should do something with your money. Thankfully, I had a, a friend of mine who's invested in a couple of properties. No, so I didn't get any help I bought on my own. My uncle was with me basically pretty much all the time, helping me through the whole thing. Now, any help was is obviously greatly appreciated. So mum lent me half the money. We, we've been saving for a very long time. Well, I had been saving since I started working. So I didn't do the European trip at 19. I probably go clothes shopping once a year. And they thought it was a bad idea. My friends thought I was crazy. They thought that I was going to be in debt for the rest of my life. They were like, you're a bit too young to be doing this. Like, what do you mean you bought a house? But it all turned out in the end. Being really proud, you know, walking into a house and it wasn't perfect, it was a bit run down, but it was mine. I feel like my future has been stabilised or secured in a sense by having a property. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, my name's Sean. Ali. Daniel. Tyler. And I'm a millennial property owner. Millennial homeowner. I'm a millennial homeowner. And I'm a millennial homeowner. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.